Welcome again to this series of videos about how to create statistical charts and maps with tools like Insight and then style them in Adobe Illustrator. In previous videos, if you remember, we cover how to use Insight to generate statistical graphs and we also took a look at Excel and uh, there is also I also provided a, a very short introduction to Adobe Illustrator. I'm just showing you my, uh, my website just to remind you where to find all those all these videos. They are under the, under the tutorials and resources section, and here you have all the tutorials that have been that I have been recording so far. So the first intro to Insight, how to create different kinds of Insight. If you don't have any previous knowledge of Adobe Illustrator, I have also included links to all tutorials that are recorded. Uh, they are all, all over here. But if you have already taken a look at my introduction to Illustrator video tutorial, or if you have previous experience with Adobe Illustrator, all these videos over here under the fifth tutorial will be a little bit too elementary for you because they are uh, about how to set type, how to create a layout. So you already probably you already know how to do all that. So you can go directly to the current tutorial, which will be show over here when these uh, the current video uh, finished is, is finished recording. I will just post it over here. If you want to download the files and the data that I will be using in this tutorial, you can just click on this link that will take you to my a Dropbox folder and there you will find a, the data file and the um, a, an Illustrator file that I created for this specific um, exercise. It's not mandatory, I don't think that you will even need it. I'm just going to show you in these areas how to begin with a graphic correct created with uh, Insight which looks fine enough, it looks okay, but perhaps you may want to adapt its style to your own style, fixing things such as, for example, vertical text, which I believe we should avoid as much as possible, changing the background, changing the color of all these bubbles, etc. So as you begin with the original that you exported from Insight, and then you transform it into the final graphic uh, within Adobe Illustrator. So this is ac exactly what the, the content of this video is, what we are going to be covering in the following few minutes.